Happy Feast of Presentation of the Lord. This is Sister Luci of the Daughters of St. Paul for today's Gospel Power. When the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, they brought the child up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, Every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him to his arms and praised God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed, so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age, having lived with her husband for seven years after her marriage, then as a widow to the age of 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At that moment she came and began to praise God and to speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had finished everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The meeting between the young couple, Mary and Joseph, and the elderly pair, Simeon and Anna, has a deep theological significance. This episode allows us to witness not only an ordinary encounter, but the transition of the ages, from the age of promises to the age of fulfillment. And this transition is made possible by the arrival of the child, who is the embodiment of the fulfilled promises and the focal point of this meeting. The evangelist Luke intends this episode to be a bridge showing that the ministry of the adult Jesus, as told in the New Testament, is a continuation of the history of Israel, as told in the Old Testament. To emphasize further this continuity between the two ages, Luke portrays the young couple as obedient to the law of Moses, and the elderly Simeon as guided by the Holy Spirit. The law which dominated the age of promises is not abolished, but will find its perfect fulfillment in this child 
who is also the bearer of God's Holy Spirit. The same Spirit has been discreetly at work even in the old era of promises, and now leads Simeon to this faithful encounter. Lord Jesus, you are the fullness of time in whom all God's promises become a yes. Amen.